Hey guys, CJ, Cracker Jacks Outdoors. Um, I promised this video a while ago. Um, update to the new way I'm doing my rain barrels here. Um, the whole interconnecting transfer really did not work that well with my old system. So what I started doing is getting these ball valves and hooking them up and cutting apart a hose to make connectors. That way it's good, it doesn't really leak, I don't have to worry about it and it makes this entire thing modular so right now I just got this loose hose connected right here I use this to fill the watering can for the garden and if I want to use just this one barrel I can just shut off and now it's cut off from the rest of it so I can actually disconnect this hose if I wanted to and drain that barrel or if I needed to drain all of them for some reason like we're moving I can unhook all the hoses and then open all the valves on every barrel and that'll drain them pretty damn quick also the benefit of doing it modular like this is these are all full if it starts raining and I want more water I can come I can lay more block hook up another barrel and it'll auto level the whole thing as long as I got the top cap loosened up a bit the air gets out and they all fill up pretty easily the only downside to doing it this way is it's a little expensive if you're trying to do it cheap. At Lowe's, these ball valves are about eight, nine bucks a piece. So that right there, you're looking at about 16 bucks just in the valves, plus a couple bucks each for the blocks. Barrel if you can get one free or cheap. And then this is just a 15 foot piece of hose that I cut apart and then used a couple of female hose mending pieces to mix it up. Or fix it up. But this is working pretty well and with the overflow I've got on this one, it's the same 2 inch with the screen over it to keep anything, you know, when I put fish in here from getting out when it rains too much. I didn't quite finish the overflow on this one. I've kind of been lazy and lacking on that. But just figured I'd let you all know and give you all kind of a heads up on how I'm doing this and what's working for me. These ball valves do leak a little bit when they first fill up. But as it goes on, they just kind of stop leaking. The leaks just seal themselves up pretty well. So, thank you all for watching. Like, comment subscribe constructive criticism whatever you want thank you